All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we're back with Assassin's Creed Valhalla. How you doing? I hope you're doing all right. We have one last province in Wessex to do. It's Hamshire, or Haramshire, Good however day, the fuck you say it. Hey, Ranvi. Show me I the want alliance map. I to see map. the alliance map. Hamptonshire, the last Saxon stronghold. And very heavily guarded. King Alfred is preparing for war. You will meet tremendous resistance. As will Alfred. Is Guthrum Jarl there with his army? He is. He and Uba have gathered a sizable force and intend on launching an attack on Alfred soon. If we support their assault, England will fall to us. A pagan land where a multitude of gods may freely roam. Well, let's pledge. I'll go to Hamptonshire and speak with Guthrum. Send word to our allies to gather on the Thames, just outside the Shire. I will. May the gods share in this, our final victory. Indeed. We bring war to Wessex! Volker? What is it? Eivor, you must not go. You must not. The signs, the portents, they shout and veil. Your leaving will be our doom. Speak clearly, Valka. What have you seen? I have thrown the bones. I have stared the offal of beasts. And in the rising steam, I saw the end of it all. Though this battle you may win, this war you will not. Your foe will be your master. Your hope will be your grief. This is fate. Our fate. I thank you for this, Valka. But the yawns of fate are too frayed for me to follow now. I owe this fight to my friends and allies, and I will see it through. Go then, with great care. But know that the home you leave will not be the home to which you return. Okay, that was ominous as fuck. I hope she read the portents wrong. But we'll, we'll, we'll just have to see what happens. Because, you know, Ravensthorpe is all happy and strong, so I don't... Plus, this is Mercia, so I don't think there's anything that's going to happen. Um, let's see. Where are we headed? All the way down there. Alright, well, we can fast travel here. All right, we sail up the river. Let's get out of here. We'll share a tale. When I gave up my berserker ways, my family decided to leave Norway. We sold our farm and weapons for a dozen silver deniers. We sailed the whale roads with a merchant fleet, settling near York after Halfdan's battles. Alfilder, Njal, Each day, we went to the market, where Njal did tricks to earn coin. We were beloved, and Njal was pleased by Jorvik's tasty fish. But one day, people no longer enjoyed Njal's tricks. The market was empty. The town's folk had gone to watch a new act in town. We went too only to find a bear baiting me. They kept a bear in a pit, fighting dogs and thralls. We were sickened. That night, we formed a plan. We met the bear's owners and plied them with strong ale. Once asleep, we threw them in the pit. Oof. Their bear mauled them savagely, for they had mistreated it badly. The bear then followed Njal and us out of that wicked town. We led the bear into Pictland. And as for our part, we moved to Dunwich in East Anglia, where our troubles began anew. Oh, that's sad. I'm sorry, Bjorn. Strike of the June. All right, where are we landing at?
apparently not anywhere <laughs> there has a duck that has a duck, so that's great. I think I'm nearing where I'm deep into Alfred's heartland. I hope Guthrum has a sound plan. Alright. We're gonna go ashore here. They can find a port from here. And climb up the cliffs of Dover! Or no, that's on the other side of the map. Just, uh, just the cliffs then. The war camp. Lovely. Strange. Eivor, you come at Guthrum's call. It is good to see you. And you, Soma. There is an uneasy peace here. Both armies with their hackles up. Was blood spilt? No. We took Werum without resistance. These Saxons accompany their lord as we stand beside Guthrum. So this ford is not the sum of his ambitions. Guthrum's plan is to bring the Saxons to the table. If he can win the peace without a fight, he will do so. And how likely is that? Just now they sit on their thumbs in the church, talking in circles. Come, I will take you to him. Is Guthrum meeting here? He said Alfred. That's right. The King of the West Saxons has agreed to negotiate. Seems we have him on the back foot. Guthrum should be careful. Alfred speaks with Loki's tongue. Guthrum is not a babe at teat, Eivor. Nor is Alfred. If he has come, it is for his own advantage. Then give us counsel. Stand by Guthrum. Show our strength. The King of Hayseeds will soon be humbled. Trust me. We took this town as if it were a straw hall. Do not challenge me, Elf King. Your show of swagger and strength has my attention, Guthrum. But we agreed on terms. What more do you want? The crown of Wessex. Wessex has a king. And that king has the backing of the Almighty. Yours is a fever dream, Dane. You have learned nothing since the Danes came here. Guthrum will not bend his knee, Oathbreaker, just as I would not. Ah, Eivor. Our blunted tool returns, Lord. I have given you all I care to. A Dane geld to leave Wareham. You swore an oath upon the cross and that pagan hammer. And when you scurry back to whatever shit-soaked hovel you crawled from, we will release your men. Speak again, Handmaid, and I will feed your tongue to Eivor's raven. A fair trade. We already have your cock. Are we done with this pissing contest? If Guthrum has given you his word, then he will honor it. We will leave this town. You have one day. Do not test the King's patience further, or our men will return to Wareham with force. And if you doubt my conviction, know that the Avon River near Uffentune runs red with the blood of your countrymen. Their commander, what did his men cry as he fell? Ula? Uba? Yes, that was it. Remember, you have taken my silver. In return, I expect your honor. I will await news of your retreat in Chippenham. 
Ogre dead? It cannot be. Gods, I will tear that Saxon skin from his bones if this is true. Alfred hisses with a snake tongue, but he gains nothing from this lie. When news of this spreads through the camp, no Saxon will survive the day. You swore upon the cross. Oh, I have no intention of cowing to that milk sack. Now more than ever, I will take his throne and his head. In Winchester, Alfred used me as a tool and cast me aside. So let the betrayer be betrayed. We will burn this village to the ground. After that, we take care of Alfred. Back headlong into battle Burn we go! Through the ground! Make it a Saxon pyre! <laughs> Leave nothing standing! <laughs> and now it is it! And you will feel my axe in your gut, big Set left! where am I blaze? That... That didn't catch, did it? You. I can't believe he was dead! Holy shit! You won't burn well! Fire and flames! Burn it all! Let's burn the Saxons out and get the hell out of here. Pay for your sins! Together, lad. Shit. Keep up, you shit. You're dead. Some are doing just standing. Okay. Let's give some of our troops some space. Probably missed that. My blood needs fire after cooling in this sudden field. You'll burn in hell, traitorous scum! I will feast on your marrow in Valhalla! Yeah! Alright, let's. I can't take out another torch. I'll finish you! That's weird. That's not working. Okay, we can at least use this fire. You're mine. Can we can we get it again? Come on, light light the air. Oh my god, you know what? There we go. Torch is working now. Oh, God. Let's just let him explode. Their prayers go unanswered this day. We should find so much. <laughs> Summer was up towards the north last I checked. We'll wear you out, good thing. 
Someone's right there. She's got some men around her. This place is routed so much. Good work. We need now. There are forest ruins just east of here, along the road. Come on, men. Move! Right, where are we going? This way? Two hundred and seventy meters north. We don't have horses. Oh shit! Let battle sweat flow. All right, the shield bear is all that's left. None of that, please. Head? Saxons ahead! How much longer to you, Sap? Every soul we meet sent to their gods! Let us keep moving! The ruins are close! Keep moving! Shit! Down the straggler! one's going ham! Saxon is eager to meet their maker! There we go. I don't know, Uber might not be dead. I have a feeling Alfred has him captured to try to demoralize us. Hello, boys! We can rest here a moment. Now, tell me what you know of that breaker of rings. Weak and wretched troll. Alfred is a wily fox. He appears frail, but draws upon an inner strength. It will not be easy to oust. Fury will fuel my army and my claim. It will not be enough. You must find a weakness. Yes, that is why I called you here. Do you balk at the opportunity to bury the Saxon king? I must first hear a plan to balk at. Hmm. Alfred spoke of Chippenham, a squat hovel of sheep and peasants. So why does he go there and not to Winchester? Your scouts must know they're the best in England. A holiday feast, their Saxon Christ Mass. Alfred will warm his heels by the fire, while Uba lies cold in an English field. I have called upon my allies to join us in this fight, but I must know where to send them. Is Chippenham our final prize? It is. But uh, I will need my men for the coming fight as well. The hostages Alfred took, if there is a chance to save them. You will not lose more friends today. Where are they held? A place further ahead through this forest. They call it Hampton Blockade. Soma, ride north to the Thames and lead my allies south. They should be gathered by now. I will. Gather on the river passing Chippenham. The rest of you set up camp there. I called you Raven Feeder once. At Porchester, you were as hot-headed as Thor. You have become a true leader, Eivor. There is much to come, Guthrum, before we can rest with mead in our hands and songs in our ears. I will crush Alfred's skull with my bare hands if Uba is dead. We You'll cannot dwell on this, even if it's true. If you want the throne, only strategy will deliver it. Or bloody wrath will steal it. 
I will follow this Alfred. Hound his heels. Revenge burns within me. A wise man once told me we do not dash ourselves against hopeless courses. We arrive unexpected. Strike swift. You turn my words against me now, Wolfkist? I took them to heart in my darkest times, my friend. And Sigurd? He is back with you? My brother's story is a long one, and for another time. Ruler will make Wessex harder to tame. You almost sound like you respect him, Eivor. I have come to understand the trials of leadership, Guthrie. It's hard enough to, when you cradle something as fragile as life within your hands. There. This is the blockade. Uh -oh. Hostages must be in these buildings. Uh oh, shit. What is your plan? I think I'm we stuck. We can tread quietly so as not to alert the guards. But I can raid this place in moments with my crew. I will follow your lead. And raid we go. I mean, like I keep saying, Assassin's Creed has always we been open. Door, so I don't know what you're talking about, man. These Ooh. Saxons do not deserve compassion. Ah! I will wash my blade in their blood. Ah! I don't know what you were swinging at, sir. Ah. Shit! Uh, thank you for your neck bones. Let them pop out like Pez. Spread out. Oh shit. Impale your chest. You will pay. Oh shit. Together, lad. Oh, you played one through three. Uh, they aren't any different in terms of like the way the open world works. Just some of them are bigger. Oh, shit. God, I love executing. <laughs> None of that. Where are we hitting? Right here? Shit. I keep doing that. How the hell did you go down, Guthrum? Get up, you big fucker! Uh, you can go to certain places on the Odyssey they made. Here, hold on. I'll see you in a second. Where are... Down here. I told you, go through. Let's go, boys. Go to the camp near Chippenham. Find your countrymen there. Good. We'll pay back the Saxons for the insults they heaped on us. Uthram, some of your men. We will not be feasting in Odin's hall. Where are the we must say our welcome. Couple down here. How do, how do, oh, there's a ladder. Hmm. Are you Guthrum's men? Aye, free us and we will fight by your side. Well, there's less fighting to do, but my thanks. Good to go. Good to go. Every Saxon who spat at me will die. You'll have your chance, but don't be foolhardy. Let your steps take you far from here, to our camp near Chippenham. I mean, again, since Assassin's Creed 2, the open world for Assassin's Creed has been Thank fairly you, free. You did a great deed here. Their families will raise a cup to you. I need no thanks, Guthrum. Let us speak more when we are safely away. The only real difference between them is the scope of it.
I'm following you. Why? <laughs> why am I leading? We're safe here. Let us speak, Uthram. You should join your people at the camp. Even a surprise takes preparation. Your bravery, your leadership, Eivor. You wear it well. You have grown much since last we spoke. You judged me fairly, Guthrum. Harsh, though your words were. But I do not make the same mistake twice. How is your brother, Sigurd? He lives. A changed man. But he is free of Fulke's torment. That at least was a deed well done. Will this all be worth it in the end? Everything we have done? Everything we have sacrificed to win this land? Sometimes I dream of sooth black furrowed earth. And blood seeping from seedlings, poisoning our future. We must believe our way of life will survive. Our fates are woven, but our deeds forge our destiny. Ah, and so to our final battle. We will wait for you at the camp. All right. But yeah, the, the size of it, let's go. Where exactly? Yeah, huh? Holy day. Oh, okay. Uh, where the fuck is the camp? In a place that I have not gotten the fast travel point to yet. That's great. Yeah. I don't know exactly what you mean by that. Because, sure, you can say that and when it comes to map size, but that has nothing to do with the quality of the game. Alfred spoke of Uba meeting his end on the Avon River, west of Aventune. I fear the worst, but I must know. Right. Getting close. Is that a fat is that near or in the camp or no, that's an abbey. Like Swotor. Swotor is also fairly big. Like, I'd say if you, if you put together like two of the planet maps for a Swotor, like, uh, not not even, a, or a whole planet map actually, just one. Like Alderaan. I'd say like this game might be the size of Alderaan. I mean, that's what open world games are about. Exploration, for the most part. This place is heavily guarded. I don't know, it might not be an apt comparison, but you know, still. It, it's hard to say because SWOTOR is an MMO, and MMOs are meant to be way bigger than regular games. Eivor! It's good to see you. Erke and Stowe, I released you from your debt, and yet you came. London is quiet enough, and Stowe here felt the sharp stab of conscience. Could not let you down, Eivor. It's not what an honorable man does. And but here you, I am, Broder, despite my I did not think you would be here either. I have seen to my brother, sent him to Valhalla with grave goods. I am done with sorrow, Havor. Now I am bloody angry. Alright, who else is here? They are love. You have come again at my call. I have. But this does not sit well with me, Eivor. This is a Christian feast, and the people here are not soldiers. I come only for Alfred. Innocents will die for your ambitions. I am your ally now, but after this, I must turn back to Mercia. I have much to repent. So long as I do not lose your friendship, your oath will be fulfilled. Villian Hunwald here. Shot you. Look, you Saxon bedwetters. Here is a real warrior. 
Vili, what tales are you weaving for these soft down Saxons? Do not make me regret supporting your Yaldum. Eivor, you know I will take your childhood scrapes and secrets to the pyre. Good. I would hate for something to happen to you in the coming fight. Ha! Such fiendish ribaldry between you two. You laugh in the face of fear. Tweak old man death's beard. I will do my mother and my lord proud today, Eivor. The lord knows I have not been the best of sons. Good to see your spirits high. Fight well, my friends, and we will feast together in victory. You soft-cheeked Anglo boys. Have you brought your mothers with them, Beerston? No, it's... Tefder, it is good to see you. I gave you my word. Besides, Alfred's faith is strict and he has no love for pagans. You have changed much from that god boy. That is good to see. I was always him, but my faith was like a veil. I am glad you helped me lift it. And now another education. You'll see how we Norse bands fight. I am all a quiver with anticipation. Well, please don't quiver too much and stop you spitting on your damn sword. With you? My mother. There you are, Raven. Lufina, Jor. It warms my heart to see you well. Well as ever. Better since we skinned those order rats. I hunted down more in Winchester on Alfred's behalf. Now we come to take his kingdom. How quickly a coin can flip when tossed from hand to hand. Only a fool is a betting man. Aye, your Alfred fought to use me, but he will find differently at Chippenham. My we owe Eva a lot ten of your men. I, know, I do I not know. doubt it. I... Ah, Finir. You have come far at my call, old friend. I've done all I can to help King Oswald find his feet. I leave East Anglia in good hands. You do not plan to return, then? No. When I heard of a mighty warrior in the West who brings terror to the Saxons, I came to join you, if you'll have me. Once we have seen to Alfred, we will raise a horn. Not as allies, but as companions. If drinking and feasting be in my future, I will follow you to hell. I do not doubt it. Awesome, I love you, Phineas. Giedrich, after Rochester, I was not sure you would come again. I've chosen my side. I would sooner bet a hog than allow Alfred to pillage the land of love. Guthrum will trample Alfred's ambitions like weeds in the dirt. Mercia might rise further yet. <laughs> Perhaps I shall one day sit upon the throne of all England. King Giedrich the drunken ass. <laughs> I'll raise a cup to that. Do not That'd be fun to see, oh my god. Making a banner, huh? Mm -hmm. I long farmers play with your cogs. <laughs> and she'd welcome you in Colchester, Billy. Eivor, you made it unscathed. They came from all over England. I never thought it possible, Eivor, that you would rally Saxons and Norse under your black-feathered banner. They see the tyranny of this elf king. He would crush them all under heel and plug their hearts with his god. So what is the plan, Eivor? When is their feast day? A few nights from now, but their revelry has already begun. We should attack now. That is unwise. Soldiers pace the paths of the village. Then the night of the feast, under cover of darkness. That is when we will strike. Uba will not have died in vain. We await your instructions, Eivor. Let us plan our approach. But whatever happens, Alfred is mine. They are not expecting us. We should not meet much resistance on the way. Then quietly through the fields. It will already be too late once they see us. Your young Saxons can be our eyes to the west. Better to keep their soft hands away from the conflict. My scouts reported that a few nobles have arrived for the festivities already. Good. If we capture the things, 
They will be no danger when I confront Alfred. And we could persuade them to support a new king of Wessex. I will subdue the lords. Take Deolath and Tifta with you. They could prove useful in convincing the Thanes. Rhoda, take Erke and Stowe and capture the garrison. Make quick work of any Saxons that dare cross into the village. <laughs> Gladly, Eivor. We each know our parts. May they blunt their swords against our might. Tonight, Wessex's last resistance will crumble. I follow you, Eivor. And I. Be ravening wolves and croaking ravens. Stand firm. Your axe arms strong. And together, we will win this final battle. And remember, Alfred is mine. Soma, with me! Everyone else, go quickly to the village! I mean, a little bit like the Alliance and uh, Swotor. This is more of a uh, coalition, I guess. Advance! Be on the lookout for any stray guards. Luvina, Jord, keep a strong flank! Get to the village, and wait for my signal! Alright. So Need before we get someone up here. here... Let's see. What do you see? Center of the... at the chapel. Okay. People... Don't see any guards. Or maybe the one, but... I kinda hate how they don't highlight themselves. And there's no perk for that either. Let's smoke the rat out of his god's house. <gasps> and there you go. Damn it, that missed. Let's bring Alfred to heal. Alfred! Face me, and I will spare the last of Wessex from my torch. Did you think my king would turn his back on you, Eivor, when your knife is smeared with the blood of Werum? Stand aside, Goodwin. I come for Alfred. Alfred is long gone. And this good Christian feast, a cup of honey wine, to trap some wasps. Where is he? Calling his allies to his side. All those who wish to see Wessex under one god. You cannot win England with your sorry crew of deluded farmers and godless fools. At least I would not leave them to die as I scurried through the corn husks like a rat. You have no understanding of duty, the loyalty I freely give. His plan for England, for the world, is worth the cost of my life. Then sing your tuneless hymns. Come, Raven Feeder. Do your worst. Well, this is gonna end quickly. Come here, good one. Such empty fury. It does not matter if I die as long as Alfred is safe. Your life is so Die, coward. Okay, throwing things now? Damn it. Can't get the poison off.
You are beaten, Goodwin. Beaten? No, not so. By my death, my lord may live. Alfred used you, fool. He threw you in my path. For what? He only delays what is inevitable. Kill me then. It makes no odds. For here you stand, bloody and breathless, no closer to my king, no closer to his throne. This island will never be your home, Eivor. You will not subdue her with vicious force or win her with cocksure words. We Saxons will always stand firm, shoulder by shoulder against thieves and tyrants whose envious eyes fall upon England. No. I will use you as you used me. A few hours in the company of my men, and you will lead us to your Sparrow King. That I cannot allow. Let's end this! Son of a bitch! Time has come for you! Take you! We keep our wits about us! I'm going to smash you! This way! Who's this? Are they inside? Boothrum! I need you fighting with the rest! These men will not surrender! And one little cockslog barricaded himself behind that door there! I will find a way in! How the hell do we get in here? Let's check our way around. I hate accidentally doing that. No. Maybe... Damn it. We'll see. Right, back in from the front. That's a door out. Huh. Wait. Can't break those. Let's climb up here. And get in through this way. Ah! There you go, Guthrum. Good work, Guthrum. I hope the rest are as well. 
Who is this? Is this Luvina? It, she moves like Luvina, I think so. Hold these men back! I will find them! They will look better us! Get up! This oh shit! We boiling. I. I cannot. And there is a blackness closing in around my eyes. Who the hell? Why? Go away! It frightens me. Forgive me, Homer. Hunwald, listen to me. You survived the Battle of Bottlestun. Do not let this scratch best you now. I'm so cold. Has winter come so soon? You will warm yourself with mead and dancing yet, my friend. Perhaps not, Eva. It may be I will sit beside my father soon. Will he be proud of me? He will pull you to his breast, sob bright words of welcome, and, and tell you no man ever had a worthier son. I am glad to have known you, Eivor. My truest. We burn Wessex to the ground. There was nothing more you could have done. I need to see if Broder has taken the garrison. <coughs> Shit, I ain't mean to do that. I guess that's enough of that then. There's a tree right there. Uh, to be honest, two things go. Uh, back into what? Twitter? Focus. We have it. Go slow. I need to help the others. Regroup with your allies. Where are we going? Okay, they all just disappeared. Are the Saxons in retreat? Actually, I'm not actually hitting him. Hold on. 
I guess I can't technically engage him for some reason. I don't know. It seems like a glitch. Defeat the remaining set. They are weakened. Let us finish this. I am Vili. You would know who cleaves your skull. Okay. Oh, doing banner stuff, yeah. Defeat the last of the sex. There's what, two left, I guess? Dead. Them? What are you doing? Put you on a pike! Ow, you son of a bitch! They are routed! The city is ours! Wessex will follow! Guthrum Yal, we're not without losses. Some of them grave. Their king is fled. His patsy struck down. Defeat rings loud in their ears, and I will be their lord before the spring is here. Guthrum, hear me. Soma is. She's gone. Soma? Dead? She has gone to the endless feast, and she is the better for it. Many fought for us and died. They deserve peace. Are you ready to honor them? I must speak to those still living. Jesus, man. It is done, Broder. You fought well. I saw him, Havor. In my darkest moment, Brothir stood beside me, and all was as it used to be. And then the battle ended. I feel him no longer. There will be other battles. Aye. And there you'll find me, Havor, in amongst the blood and death, Brothir at my shoulder, until the Valkyries claim me. You have given me more than I would ever have asked for. How will I repay it? Keep him in your thoughts. For when a man is mourned, his deeds cheered and his songs sung, he cannot die. Understood. 
Who's next? Oh god, I didn't see Hyora out there. Lovina. Gods, I... I did not know. Is he... is he... Hush. What good can words do, Havor? Keep to silence. He is gone. For what days I was given to spend with you. For each breath that carried your sweet whispers. I give thanks. No more. Your fingers in my hair. No more your arms around my waist. The days will be cold hereafter. All color dimmed. Goodbye, my only. My heart ends with you. What is left will go on. Doing, Billy. Do you think there will come a day when winning will not be enough? Well, you can always fight with me if you want to taste crushing and loin soiling defeat. My very presence would make that impossible. Enjoy this victory, Eivor, wherever it brings you. Only a coward thinks he'll live forever. Air K. You wear a furrowed brow. Stowe is taking matters hard. You know how sensitive he is. A man of faith and stout morals. Small wonder he's tormented. His support for you has taxed him hard. I will take him back to London. Maybe he will find some comfort there. You are his comfort, Aki. Not the city you watch. He is in good hands. My thanks, Stowe. You came to my aid when you were free to turn away. And still it breaks my heart to look upon what we've done today. Was it the right choice? I do not know. But it is done now. If Alfred had his way, there would never be friendship between Norse and Saxon. You fought for peace. Be proud of that. I wish I could. And in time, perhaps I will. Shit, man. This really hurts. Who's up here? Bishop! He shall come to judge the living and the dead. Deolav, Gidrich. There's a solemn air about you. To disturb such holy revels with blood and murder. I fear God may never forgive me for this. Had your god taken Alfred's side, we would not have won. So it may be that you did his work after all. Alfred still lives. And now I am twice his enemy. Give me one more fight, and I will gladly make it a third. He is defanged and a little threat to us now. That slippery eel may yet surprise you. Atonement is a long and lonely path. And I must soon leave to take my first steps upon it. Your debts to me are paid. I wish you well on your journeys. Really? Well, well. Oh, I can't... I can't sit and talk to him? You are not injured, Tefter. Bruises, that is all. I've taken the Lord into my heart, and he watched over my sorry bones. Those who fell sit beside him now. And what of my heath and friends? I used to believe in damnation for all who turned from his light. But there is a wondrous communion in friendship honored. Even though your godson preaches peace. And we shall do that, Christians and pagans, side by side. Never persecuted. Your Christ would smile at that, I think. Your Freya would too. Okay, um... My heart is heavy. Many fought for us and died. 
They deserve peace. Are you ready to honor them? Yes. There is nothing more to say. Time to send our friends to their great reward. Will you do the honors? Nothing awaits them. They lived, they died. And now their bodies will burn to cinders. Their saga ends here. Well, do not share that with them. Victory is ours, but it came at a great cost. Soma Yalskona, who stood at Guthrum's right hand, she will live on in our memories from now till the end of days. And to your warrior, husband, and friend, he made the ultimate sacrifice. I here repay it. And to Hunwald, whose kind heart has now led him to his father's side. May his God welcome him with open arms. Let us send them on their way. All our beloved dead. Our fallen warriors. And speed them to their end. Uthram. When the Reeve died, did he take comfort in knowing he would soon see his god? He was strangely peaceful in the end, as if death meant nothing. We stumble through our years, ravenous, grasping, spilling blood, stealing gold, and it is never enough. This life is never enough. Would it not suit you to know there is something beyond all this? Not war and valor, but quiet and peace. I think... I think the afterlife men hope for is only a reflection of their regret in this life. All I wish for now is to live among the friends I have made. That is what counts. Alfred made me swear fealty upon the cross of their god's son. He held such faith in it. A plain, unadorned thing. It burned between my fingers, as if I had pulled it from the fire. A feeling strange and powerful, but gone in an instant. I have not felt its like before. What will you do now? Whatever I must do. England is my final home, Eivor. And I will do what it takes to remain. I should return to Swanborough and tell her of Hunwall's fate. Better the news comes from me than a stranger. Oh god, that's right, we have to... Th Shit! Let's hit this first before we go. Come on, boy. It's a long road home. Hey
Okay. That's the last thing we've got. Eivor? Swanborough, I... No. Gods, no. Don't say it, please, Eivor. Don't say it. I am sorry. Oh! My own one! No! My poor swan! Oh, gods! You fought bravely, and turned the tide to secure a victory. Your dear Hunwald died a hero, and will be so remembered. Oh, gods. I know he would have fainted to hear such praise from your lips. Thank you, Eivor. Thank you. He walks among warriors now. Yes. The lucky man. I imagine he does. I know words are a poor salve for a wounded heart. I'll leave you to mourn, and know that we're here for you, always, should you need us. Back to Ranvi we go. God damn it. There you are. I have something for you. A message. Quite strange. Something for me? What is it? A letter. Requesting your presence in the southwest. A village called Athelny. Nothing strange about a summons for me, is there? It is not the recipient I find strange. It is the sender. The letter is signed, a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Ah, a mysterious partner. For a short time, I hoped it might be Bassem feeding us the names of these targets. He seemed the most likely man, for a time. Only one way to discover the truth. Thank you, Hytham. I'll take care of this. Eivor of the Raven Clan of Marcia. Uh, the Order of Ancients is all but destroyed, and your good work it works in England are all but complete. One heathen yet remains the Grand Magister of this contemptible order. Should we, should you finish your work, come to, F, however the hell he said it before, uh, northwest of Hampshire, Shire to, uh, we will discuss the means by which you find uh, this last elusive target. Blessings upon you, a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Hamptonshire has fallen, and withered the kingdom of Wessex. But the cost was great, maybe too great for all we gained. Rest then, you have earned it. On the backs of so many, time will tell if it was worth it. England is pacified. Where's the haystack? That's what I meant for. Okay. Hey Am 
I going the wrong way? Sorta. Yeah. Probably shouldn't have jumped down into the valley either. rule over Wessex. Cross the river here. Or pond, or whatever the hell we want to call it. It's a dock. Oh my god, okay. Still finding new fast travel spots every day. This little town here? Yes. <clears throat> Hello. I do not mean to intrude, but I'm looking for someone. And who would that be then? I... I do not know exactly. Well, that would be why you ain't found him. But you're free to pass the time just here if you like. Thank you. Soul cakes, love. Do you know soul cakes? I do, I enjoy them. They're small things, size of a lumpy fist, so they'll bake fast. Keep your eyes sharp. And the butter, do I baste them? No need, love. We leave the butter for meal time. I look forward to it. Right then, I'll leave you to this. If you need me, I'll be doing the washing up next door. Quite a step down from your former work, Lord. As their guest, I volunteer to help with the daily chores. They offer me a bed. I tend the cakes. Do they not feel strange giving orders to their king? Or do they know? That knowledge would benefit no one. I read your message. You went through a great deal of trouble to obscure yourself as this poor soldier of Christ. As I remember... You even sent yourself one of these letters in Winchester. A clever touch. The Order wanted me dead. I had to be careful. You said you knew nothing about the Order then. You pled ignorance. But you knew everything. Their names. Their schemes. Would you join me for a walk? You look well, Eivor. I am. The wars have ended, and my settlement thrives. The wars have not ended. You have simply stopped fighting. But men are brewing plots in mead halls and bedrooms. You will see. And how are you, Alfred? Getting used to the idea of being unremarkable. I am well. 
Better than I expected. In this exile, I have found a somewhat nourishing peace. Each morning, I am awakened by the sun and growling cormorants. I bathe in the chilly water of the marsh. I eat from shrubs and drink from buckets. It is a good life. Simple. Blessed. I've never been so far west. I find it quite peaceful here. Calming. I've traveled a long way to hear one name, Alfred. Who is the Order's Grand Magister? Tell your shadowy friends that England is swept clean. Your work is done. You? Grand Magister was not a title I desired. It passed to me on the death of my brother. From my father before him. Defilers of God's majesty and grandeur. I was their master, and I loathed them. With Goodwin, I set a plan in motion to destroy the Order from within. But my troubles with the Danes delayed that plan. But your trouble with this Dane is what led to their demise. You are Norse, are you not? You have a good ear. I owe you my thanks, Eivor. For that, I give you this. The key to my study. That you may better understand the good you have done. With the order all but destroyed, you have made room for a greater idea. One to take its place. A universal divine order. Inspired by God for the betterment of man. With a poor fellow soldier at its head. You have saved England, whether or not that was your intent. Now let England save you. England is no more, Lord. You're the last of her kings, and yet you have no kingdom. Look around you. God's works are wondrous. They cannot be ignored, nor resisted. In time, all those who accept God will flourish. And all those who defy him will fall away. Should you remain in England, you too will one day be her subject. Oh, bloody crumbs! The cakes are burnt! Where is that man? Young man, where have you gone? Damn. That may have earned me a night of washing linens. I do not know if we shall meet again, Eivor. God willing, we will. As one lord to another, perhaps. I'm coming, my lady. I'm here. Alfred gave me a key to unlock his study. Somewhere in Winchester. Oh dear, oh dear. Look at them, little Can I just soot. say that I fucking knew it? Me. I, was lost I knew in it. Thought. I knew it was him. Just let him cool him. Let's go to, uh... I mean... His study. I don't know where it would be. Cause there's there's no palace. Let's. Oh, I can't fast travel there. Direct me. <laughs> Let's try again. That's weird. Can I? Can't fast travel at all.
That was fucking beautiful. I don't know what to say. Yeah. Can I fast travel now? No. Why? Why is fast travel unavailable? I should speak with Hytham. Ah. There we go. What do you see, Sunan? sure where uh his study might be please there must be you have not left the church in days the stench offense even god knows i have been looking at this scripture for hours god is giving me a sign hmm. i don't know what to see it. where to go see his maybe light. we'll a cover sign. it in its own video i don't know but now let's go back to hyphen Hytham. Eivor, a moment of your time. One second, buddy. Here you are, Hytham. The last of the Order's sigils. You'll find King Alfred's among them. King Alfred? Did our poor fellow soldier lead you to his hiding place? He did, for they were one and the same. Our poor fellow soldier of Christ was the Grand Magister of the Order of the Ancients. He turned on his own order. Fascinating. Not turned so much as trampled. His devotion to Christ and what he calls a universal order set him against them from the start. With all sincerity, he loathed the title and the duty he had inherited and wished them destroyed. Wonderful. With his abdication, the last stronghold of the Order has been dismantled. All that remain are scraps here and there. And you, Eivor. Now that you have seen our enemy and you understand our cause, I wonder if you would join us. Become a hidden one. Was this your ultimate goal, Hytham? A trial by fire? It is a kind offer, but I do not believe we fight for quite the same cause. Your creed demands that you keep your triumphs hidden. I prefer my glory to be in plain view for all to see. If I taught you our creed, if you spent time with it, it could open your mind to another view. Another view is always welcome. But to live without celebrating one's glory and honor and achievements is not a life for me. But know this, I would give my life in a moment for those I love and who love me in return. All here, including you, my friend. I understand you well, Eivor. Very well indeed. All right, let's talk to Gunnar. What's up, my man? My favorite blacksmith.
Eivor, good to see you. I am, uh, uh, Did you want something, or...? I was wondering... What's wrong? Bridget and I were thinking, with everything calming down the way it has, maybe you could find a spare moment, then. You want to be married? Yes, uh, to each other. Yes, I imagined. Gunner, to see you so happy has been a pleasure. And to marry you would be an honor. Shall I put out a call to any friends abroad? I'll be honest, Eivor. I came here with a lot of you, because nothing and no one kept me back there. The Raven Clan is all the family I need, and Bridget too. From all she said, she's better off here than with those she calls kin. Just a couple of foundlings we are. Then let's not bother with tradition. If you have your bride and your blade, we will see you wed. As y'all, I do it gladly. About you and Bridget, when do you wish to be wed? The sooner I can make her my wife, the happier I will be. But we are fine to wait until everything has settled here. Enough waiting. Cool your forge and cover your anvil. Let's get you married. Wonderful. Shall we gather everyone? Gather your wife and your courage. I'll bring the people together. I am honored to stand before you, Gunnar, Bridget, on this bountiful day, to celebrate the strength of your bond and see you wed. I am in witness of a love that inspires and empowers. I invite you now to speak your vows. To you, my darling Bridget, I offer this blade, forged in flames that burn as brightly as my heart does for you. A blade as sharp as your wit, as glinting as your beauty. May it sing through the air as sweetly as your voice meets my ears. Dio, see you did carry to Gunnar. Do never am lookest what if it's a daughter he to tea and hurry at. And I, you, I give you my sword and my promise that I will stand at your side forever. Heed for the prodigy on future and heen, a distort tawaloch in hope, a premonition. On the mount of scrying a foresight, para toivi a sweeping adventure meeting tea. Tiur enaid fel dimarall, a dyn a strong aburetiki, a gfel as i fiers, bod calon yn hedfan dyrrytu. Such poetry, oh dear, you make me cry, my love. Let us hedfan efen gilydd, tro bywyd yn beyond. I offer you this ring, and take yours in kind. I will wear it with pride and honor, warmed by the love of so perfect a lady. And I whisk of a Valkalon, adoration a fee than bith. This is the greatest day of my life. Embrace me, my love. With our couple now bonded in matrimony, now we drink. <laughs> that was lovely. And look at him over there, still going at it. <laughs> Volka. Volka. I want to thank you for all you have done for me. My visions have lessened of late, and I... Well, I find it hard to explain how different I feel. Grounded. Unified. At peace. That is good to hear, Eivor. 
Very good to hear. Sigurd! How are you, brother? It is a strange feeling, brother. Weddings are the beginning of something. This feels like something of an end. The first happy union in our home. We have matured into something greater. So yes, a beginning and an end, I think. All right. Gunnar? Bridget, I gift you a formal welcome to our clan and our family. You're a fine addition to Gunnar's life and to ours. Dear I couldn't be more happy to be here. Hoping I would see Wash in the case of Misha the years. Yes, of course. I... As I say, it is wonderful to have you. <laughs> Gunnar, you old trout. You're a married man. Never thought I would see the day. Nor did I. And not for lack of trying. Still can't understand a word she says. All of us. I'm surprised you did not serenade the bride and groom with a verse or two. Oh, I wished to, I did. But all that came to me were insults and jibes. Another time, I think. All right. Reda? You've been among us for quite some time, Reda. Are you ready to settle? Make a home here? For a year or two, perhaps. But I am not the settling kind. I am a wanderer, always searching. Never finding. Maybe one day. I mean, and you're a couple hundred years old, dude. You were in Assassin's Creed Origins. That literally took place in the year 49. And this is, what, 877? I think? I'm not sure I'll look it up and do the math, but you're a few hundred years old, buddy. <laughs> Billy! Oh no, that's Hypha. Can I not talk to Hypha? Guess not. Ranvi, saw you looking a little lonely. Thought I might come and join you. How nice. Are you enjoying yourself? I am. I never thought I would see gruff old Gunner so enraptured by a woman. Enraptured by anything, for that matter. He's a hard one to read, but I am pleased for him, and for this day of rest and respite. After everything, a few days of feasting will do the people some good. They need this. They do. Will you walk with me? Anywhere. Lead on. Something has been on my mind for some time. I am no seer, but I foresaw this day long ago. Not Gunnar's marriage, but our situation. Our success. How do you mean, our success? I mean to say that I saw our settlement flourishing, through our victories in war and in diplomacy. And from the day we set out from Norway, I knew that you would make a fitter leader than Sigurd. It was never in his character to lead. It was always within yours. I see. Do you? You might have warned me. You would not have listened. Fair. I do hope you see it now, in all that you have done for us. Ranvi, you and the people here have done more for me than I could ever repay. I am honored by your faith in me, and your confidence. As I am honored by your love. And I by yours. Eivor, I want you to know that Sigurd and I are... We are severing the bonds of our marriage. We share a love that is steadfast, and I have faith it will forever be so, but my heart is yours. That much he knows. And I believe he is happy for us. Are you sure? Sigurd's desires are bigger than any man or woman can offer. He longs for something more. Something only he can find. All he wants is far, far away. All I need is right here.
Shall we find our way back to the wedding? Bridget might give another speech. We must not miss that. About that, I have not understood a single word of hers since Gloucestershire. Really? I find she speaks beautifully. With poetry, even. Are you kidding? Am I? Come, we should go. Oh my god. She understands her too? How? It, she doesn't make any sense. <laughs> she makes little sense. Or not, I can make out maybe a word or two. Lysam? And how are the marriage customs in your country, Hytham? Something like this? Like this in all the most important ways. There are smiles, cheers, and warm embraces. All that is needed, I think. Very true. Oh, look at Bjorn's big ass. Join me. Together we'll force open the doors of the old father's hall. All right, well. <laughs> that is that despite the uh despite the lack of credits, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the empire, that is the end of the epilogue and the end of the game for now until they start coming out with DLCs which I know they will do. Some of them are going to be free, so that's going to be great. And we'll cover it when we uh when we get them. So um Next, I don't, I'm not sure what we're going to do, like, immediately after this, like, tomorrow, we'll see. But, we most certainly will be doing, uh, Cyberpunk 2077 this week. So, uh, stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed what you saw and you're watching on YouTube or Twitch, drop me a follow or like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button, all that to help me out. And I will see you all next time.